regards a, a difficult afternoon at the office, just uh, just give us your uh, gives your thoughts on that. Um, first ten minutes, you you know, please would you start? But um, we have this knack of being able to uh, shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, the first goal's nearly poor, the mistake um, ends up being a corner, and uh, how it ends up at the back of the net. I can't see whether he's offside. You know, there's a bit of a shout. I don't know whether it was, um, but it's gone in anyway. But then the one thing you don't do is concede the game, and then we concede it from a corner. To be fair, the second corner is a great delivery, and you know they've got big, big, powerful lads. And if you get a run and jump and they make the delivery right, then you know that can happen. Um, third goal though. It's a straight pass from the centre half, and I always say to our players, straight passes and square passes are the ones that get cut out most in the game. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a straight ball right through the heart of us, right down the side, and the lads done what he always does, and you know he's finished well. Um, but it, it might sound a mad one, but we've had some some chances as well. Um, I'm not saying we deserved any of the game because second half, I mean, they hit the post. They probably should. Uh, sorry, they hit the bar. They probably should have had a penalty. Um, in the second half, quite early on, you know, 10, 15 minutes into the second half, which you know, if that goes in, you know, can you get something out of it? It's always going to be an ask. Um, but one thing that you know we can't keep giving leads to opposition the way we do, but the way we conceded the. The first and the third goals are real poor goals. Real poor. As I say, a set piece, you, you, you can. It's disappointing, but the second one, you can get done. That can happen. That happens in the prep. And you know, some of the best centre halves in the world get, get a run, get, get ran on, and get jumped on. But the first, the first from how it came about, from our possession, then not giving the corner away, and then the third from being with their centre half to their centre forward, and then in the back of that. Our goal was that was massively frustrating and disappointing because you know we, we keep handing teams goals. Again, it comes back to what you sort of said after last week. I mean, you, you said you know you're not always going to come back, and I guess that rang true today. And you also said sort of don't be cheap, and again that's that's rung true again today. So that must be the most frustrating thing for you. It is. It's you know it's been it's been a bit of a, a theme, hasn't it? Where we where we're goal behind, apart from the Head of the game, um, we, we're going to go behind all the time to try and fight back, and it's one of them you load to to start Josh because at the minute we're, we're having to score to to get something out of the game, um, you know, and you start with the points and you know you should you should keep the points at least at worst um, and not be you know losing the point you, you know we should be looking to gain gain the other two but at the minute we're just you know we're, we're if we were getting undone by good play because um, uh, you know we conceded three you know but Dan hasn't been peppered mm. he's not been peppered with a lot of chances and loads of balls across the box or we haven't had loads of loads of last, last ditch stuff to, to contend with Um you know when they opened the game up, they, they did look they did look okay in the first half, but you know when you when you get given two goals, three goals the way they did, you know you, you get that spring in yourself and a bit of confidence. But we've got to respond, react uh, to today, and uh, you know it's a tough, tough game on Tuesday. We've got we've got to uh, we've got to show character. We've got to show what we're about, and we've got to try and uh, try and put some of the wrongs from today right. It is the start of a very busy month. That you've got nine games in sort of twenty eight days this month, so I guess you can't let heads go down too much, can you? Because it, it can soon set in if if that's allowed to be the case. Yeah, and that, you know you don't want that to fester, but at the same time, you know you it's it's finding a balance between drawing a line under it and saying it's gone, move on, but also you know not forgetting. The, the, the way we've conceded um, that's as important but like you say you can't let it fester you've got to react you've got to respond um, and you've got to show character um, 
we've got a we've got a striker level of consistency because you know in games we you know we, we look okay at times some some attack and play is can be good um you know we've been heavily reliant on Connor and he he didn't have one of his better games today but you know he's always there he's always brave he's always trying to get on the ball but you know he's allowed that um but it's then someone else who's going to take his place yeah. who's going to take the place of others when you know they, they may be off um maybe have an off day so it's about that consistency for people to fill in and not be dependent on certain individuals which i feel we are um and you know we've we've got a we've got a listen I've, I've said before we're looking to try and strengthen um you know i thought the two two young lone lads i thought they were our best players today um milesy and hamish um like i say and that's that's not the, the sign you want but um but yeah but we we have to be positive we have to try and uh like i say react as much as the players do as a staff and we have to gear up for tuesday yeah so you mentioned uh, Hamish Douglas and Josh Miles there. I think both of their loan deals are just about to come to an end. Are you looking at are you looking at trying to get those extended? No, we've done them both. Oh, right. We've done them both till till January now. So um, which is good. Um, Hamish is, seems to be getting better and better all the You know we are conceding goals. Um, you know his performances have been have been strong for us, and you know he's a good lad. Miles, he again thought he worked hard. I thought he put a shift in. I thought he. You know, he's playing in an unfamiliar position because we've changed the shape again. Um, but you know, if, you know, the two good young lads who who you know done done all right today. And like you say, we don't want to be dependent on the loans. We want the loans to be sort of topping us up, yeah. as opposed to being uh, you know prominent within within the side. 